Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the dialog flow CX and ES. What are the difference between them? Okay. Before moving on, uh, just a simple request to all the viewers uh, to subscribe to the channel, give a like, thumbs up, and share with your friends if you find this useful. And if you are coming from Google search, I came to know from the analytics that uh, most of the users are coming from Google search. Just give a thanks or you can buy a super thanks from there. So moving to the video, right? Uh, so what exactly is Dialogflow ES? So this is if it is completely new for you. Uh, this is how the Dialogflow ES looks like. Okay, this is essential and this is the CX part, right? So this is how the CX look like. As you can clearly see that uh, ES is all over here are intent based and over here the CX are the flow based. Okay. So in the ES, the basic difference is the flow is determined by the context in and out context, right? So you define the context over here and over here, the flow or the call journey, right, is defined by the flow and in a flow, there are pages, right? So in the pages are uh, uh, connect to the one uh, node to the another node. So that is one of the difference. That is a major difference. Okay. Second difference is about the capabilities. So CX is created more specific to the telecom journeys or the journeys which are lo long and cumbersome, right? And the ES are specifically designed for single input and output kind of a, uh, uh, solutions. Like if you take example, like uh, if when you ask to the Google Assistant or to your uh, Siri or Alexa, right? What is the weather? Uh, today's morning something like that so it gives you the answer so there is like single one-to-one -one conversation so that is es and the cx is basically if you define like i want to buy a pizza uh, then you ask the to and fro questions right and uh, like the toppings the size of the pizza any extras any sides and then there is a payment and all this thing right so there are certain steps so cx is more uh, user friendly uh, more uh, controlled by the journeys or the flow via the page and the flows. Okay. So say this is the second difference. Third major difference is CX is more capable towards the telecom side. So when I say telecom means IVR solution. So if I go to the agent settings right over here, you can see the speech and IVR. So one of the difference is it enables the DTMF where the dialog flow ES doesn't. This is talking about the inbuilt capabilities when you go to the integration and enable the phone gateway, right? By partner level, you can definitely have more capabilities, but uh, by out of the box from the Dialogflow ES, uh, or the phone number capabilities, uh, you can buy the phone number from here, right? Dialogflow phone gateway. Uh, you can't have the DTMF while in the CX, by default, you can enable the DTMF over here. And one of the other capabilities is uh, it supports the bargain, right? So when there is a prompt playing by your IVR in CX, you can enable the bargain, right? So that what will happen is user input will start getting capture uh, once uh, user interrupt the long audio. While in dialog flow ES, this capability is not there. Okay. So these are the major difference. Uh, with respect to uh, the functionality wise, what are the difference between the CX and ES? There are few more which has been added uh, in, if you say the considering the reporting side and all this thing. So in Dialogflow ES, uh, what you get uh, doesn't get any uh, storage of the conversation. You have to manually create the storage, right? While in the CX side, what you get is capability to export the conversations which is happening right uh, to the BigQuery. So everything, every session information to and fro conversation between the agent and uh, customer and the bot. And also I think uh, with the partner level access, uh, you can do the, uh, you can store the conversation between the customer and the agent. This capability is not present uh, in the Dialogflow ES side. As you can see over here, there is nothing mentioned. Okay. Uh, language wise, everything is same. Every locale and every 
uh, languages are there same as it is okay uh, one more uh, you can say kind of a, uh, a specific thing is in the machine learning uh, Dialogflow CX supports uh, advanced NLU while uh, my understanding is Dialogflow ES is only for the standard NLU. So this is something internal from Google side, uh, their advanced and standard NLU. Uh, standard NLU is by default comes. Uh, you have to change to advanced NLU and this gives you more capabilities with respect to the recognition uh, and uh, quality of the recognition, right? And accuracies and uh, mostly the dialect, the different dialect it can capture. So that you get in the CX, which is not there. And obviously the generative AI has the inbuilt capabilities. You can see the data store over here. Uh, Dialogflow ES doesn't support that, okay? Uh, what you see the difference over here is the knowledge. Uh, this is knowledge base, which is not uh, available in the CX side. But obviously you can directly integrate the data source uh, if you are considering the FAQs, right? Uh, but through agent assist also, uh, you can configure the agent assist and over there you can train the FAQ which by default goes to the knowledge base over here. And by API, you can call in the CX, but this is not out of the box. We have to create uh, via webhook, okay? Uh, yeah, apart from that, all the settings remain the same. Uh, am I missing anything? No. Okay. Yeah. So, all uh, these are the major, basically CX specific or the uh, contact center specific, right? Uh, you get uh, margin, you get DTMF, uh, you get uh, generative AI, you get uh, the conversation storage, right? In BigQuery. And obviously these are all built on flows and pages. It is all based on context size. So hopefully you like the video. Thank you. Have a nice day.